Hey, 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 Capricorn, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, February 9th to the 10th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Capricornies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully you guys can get something out of it today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Alrighty, Capricorn. I'm going to get a channeled message for you in just one moment. But first, there's Tarot. Your overall energy, Capricorn, is the Knight of Cups. Ew, all romantical, Capricorn. What's on your mind? The Seven of Wands. What's coming towards Capricorn? The Queen of Swords. What's your response to what's coming? Ooh, you got three cards here. All three? Okay. What's your response to what's coming towards you? Is the Six of Wands? the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Cups, and your advice. Your advice is the Four of Cups. Okay, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So let's see what Spirit has for you, shall we? Focus your intentions, Capricorn. Be careful about the energy you're putting into these intentions. There needs to be a positive spin on these intentions, Capricorn. Any negative aspects attached to intentions will always skew the result from the universe. So watch your wording, watch your phrasing, watch your emotional response to the intention that you're offering to the universe, the energy. rise to the belief of the intention, Capricorn. Allow yourself to see the intention from a higher perspective and trust in the belief of its manifestation. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, Capricorn, your overall energy is the Knight of Cups, so you're all romantical. Let's see what's going on. You could be making a love offer. Somebody could be making it to you, okay? You are listening to your intuition right now regarding love. Queen of Pentacles, there you are, Capricorn. You're really focused also on what it is that you're creating for your foundation and you are incorporating and I almost feel like beginning to incorporate your intuition into this creation the king of wands ah, a lot of sexual creative energy is stirring within you at this time Capricorn I feel like your confidence is raising your passion for life is deepening in love, I feel like it's like, if you don't have love in your life yet, it you're calling it in. You're attracting it to you. You're, you're, sorry, what's on your mind is the seven of wands. So 
you're being a little bit defensive about what is coming towards you, but you're also standing up for what you believe in, right? Could be your values here. So the Knight of Pentacles, you're taking love slow, out of caution, I'm feeling, the Six of Swords. I feel like you, you're you wanting a state of peace. You're not wanting turbulence. And you're sort of taking yourself away from that turbulence or you recently have. And you're in a more peaceful state. You're beginning to see more clearly uh, what it is that you want and your desires. Ten of Swords. Mm. Okay, you're also letting go. And I feel this is what's bringing you to a more peaceful state. So you're letting whatever doesn't serve you go. And you're beginning to walk forward. Standing strong, right? And knowing that that's cleared from your energy, which is great. What's coming towards you is the Queen of Swords. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it's somebody, let's see if it's somebody or is this you, your energy. Ace of Swords, no, it's somebody. The Lovers, can I have one more? There's going to be communication with this queen. There you are. <laughs> the devil energy. There's a strong ass sexual connection here. With the lover's card, that is a strong soul tie. That is twin flame soulmate energy. However, there can be something standing in between you or someone. It could even be yourself, their self, both of yourselves, right? This energy is extremely strong. You're seeking clarity. I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication with this Queen of Swords, and you will come together with them. How do they feel about you? Let's see how they feel about you. This Queen of Swords energy. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like they, they're they wanting to put the work into whoops a relationship with you. I just spied the... Uh, Ace of, um, Ace of Wands there. King of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus or a Virgo Capricorn. I feel like they're focused on their stability, but they want to create stability with you. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of passion towards you. This person could be at a distance, but this is the Eight Arrows of Love. I feel this is a very grounded person. It's, a, it's sort of like a grounded approach. Taking things like you're taking things slowly with this Knight of Pentacles, I feel like this is what they're doing. Their communication uh, is at the forefront here. Communication, I'm hearing banter, right? And that would be the Queen of Swords, right? Intelligent conversation. But also there's passion that's lying underneath there, especially with the devil card here, right? But I feel like they're holding back because they want to make sure that this is something stable here. This is an emperor or an empress that's coming towards you, Capricorn, okay? Your response to this is the six of wands, the nine of wands, the nine of swords, and the five of cups. So there's some sadness. Uh, for some of you, this may be somebody from the past. If it's new, because I do feel new for some of you, then something about this relationship is reminding you of one of the past. So there's some regret, there's sorrow. There's a little bit of anxiety and fear. You don't want to repeat the same mistake. You don't want to learn the same lesson. Okay. But ultimately, I do feel this is overcome. This is sort of an internal battle that doesn't last long. Okay clarify this yeah the five of pentacles <clears throat> you really have some fears here being left out in the fold being ghosted right the star you're looking at the healing that you've accomplished from this past person or it is this person and the letting go and the confidence that you've built from this right building yourself up here so your advice, Capricorn, is the Four of Cups. They're wanting you to make sure that you're noticing opportunities. Okay, Five of Swords, check your ego at the door. And the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like they're saying, 
your happiness is standing right in front of you. There's abundance here. There's loyalty. There is marriage. But be careful of letting your ego get in the way or other people because five of swords is people around you. Clarify this five of swords. The fool card. Ah. So your ego... Be careful. Your ego may be trying to stop you from taking a leap with this individual. Why? What are you telling yourself here? Let's see what you're telling yourself. Three of Wands. You're not sure if you need to wait. That's what I'm feeling with this. It's like, do you turn your back? Or are these the ships that are coming in? You're questioning. You're questioning it for some reason. Let me get one more card on this. Up oh, two. The tower and the, whoops, the tower and the knight of wands. Okay. Some of you uh, are not going to be sure whether or not you want to give up like the dating scene, right? Uh, this came as a surprise to you this committed relationship or potential committed relationship you're not sure if you're there yet and it's interesting that the ego card is here because i feel like this may be enlightening for you as to why you feel you don't want to leave this particular you know the, the dating scene is it stroking your ego is that something that you're looking for on the outside that does something for you temporarily and if it is, I feel like this is going to be highlighted for you. And you're going to have more of an understanding. I do feel because the Six of Wands is here, this is something that you overcome. And you're going to feel good about overcoming this. So there's going to be a lightning bolt moment. There's going to be a huge epiphany here. And I feel like it's that breakthrough that you need. Wow. So... Knight of Swords here. Pay attention to your intuition, okay? And communicate with yourself often. Have conversations with yourself, Capricorn. That's how you figure shit out. You're not crazy. All right. Wow. Okay. So the crystals that will serve you most regarding this situation. Citrine, Abundance, and Celestial Quartz, Angelic Truth. So let's get the affirmations that go along with this and as well as the animal totems here and the essential oil, citrine, citrine. Okay. The affirmation is self-love is my measure of abundance. I love, I receive, I give. The animal totem is the grasshopper and the essential oil is lemon balm. So now we have Alestial Quartz. So let's see. Alestial Quartz. Aha. Such a pretty card too. I own my personal power. Stepping into your power here, Capricorn. Call these crystals in if you're not getting them. The animal totem is the lynx and the essential oil is Angelica. All right, Capricorn. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already have not if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a fantastic day Capricorn and I will catch you on the flip side tomorrow on the dailies. Namaste.